welcome to my channel. Well, I have something here that was sent to me by an anonymous donor, and uh, I want to thank you for that. It's an Elk Ridge, this is the number on it, ER555 Papa Whiskey. Um... i just like to say that uh, April was a really good month for me. It was my birthday. There was a total of solar eclipse. Um, at the end of the month, I reached 2,000 subscribers. So I really want to thank everyone who has subscribed to me because uh, that that's how YouTube um, judges your progress and stuff you know or your success is the number of subscribers you have it doesn't matter how many watch you and stuff like that it, a lot of times they base it on the subscribers whether they're gonna um, show your video to other people and um like i said I, I i don't i don't hunt out people subscribing you know I, I never go through and say like and subscribe even though i appreciate you doing that I figure people know that, you know, they already know that, they don't need to be reminded, and uh, it's just something I leave out. If you want to do it on your own channel, that's fine, this is just something that I don't do on mine, because, um, I don't know, I, I guess, you know, I, I figure people, you know, if they're intelligent enough to watch a video, then they know the importance of subscribing and like, and uh, no amount of my cajoling somebody or talking to somebody is going to change, you know, somebody's opinion on that so I mean, that's just the way i feel about it I, I don't have any you know angst about anybody that does things differently i was looking for this ruler and it was hiding underneath the mat here all right so um with that being said this knife is gonna be one of the giveaway knives um i'm including quite a few different giveaway knives in this in this one and it's just going to be one giveaway um and the main reason is because all of them are from donors except for the ones i'm including or the one i'm including and uh well let's get into this one first it has a several different ways of attaching this knife you've got loops belt loops you've got scout carry you know type options and everything it has this little pouch up here up front that has a, a ferro rod striker sharpening stone and sorry about bumping all that a ferro rod so you got all that in there The uh, person that sent this one to me said he bought it a while back, and he's been looking for them. And he hadn't been able to find them, and he got it. He he found this one, and he wanted to send it to me. And I haven't used this one at all because you know it's I'm gonna send it out to people. But I really like the way this is like a a crinkle finish texture up here. It's got a nice feels like a hollow grind it's a slight hollow let me look at it yep yeah, it's a hollow grind and uh it's sharp um i think they call these pack of wood handles but it, it's a really nice grain to it and everything I really like the way it looks. It's got a lanyard hole. Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty good it's a pretty good knife. All right, so that's one of them. Well, let me get the blade length for you because you might want to know what that is. That might be somewhat important. 
So it looks like you got like a five inch blade here. Five and a quarter inch cutting edge. About a eh. thirteen centimeters, almost fourteen. Looks like a four millimeter spine. Oh uh, yeah, this feels really good in the hand. Um, partially contoured. Some of this feels a little square right here, but you could you could sand that down. It's it's been rounded up up here. You can tell a little bit, but not quite as much here. Um, there is a slight swell here for your hand. Really feels good in the hand, and you can see it's going to fit somebody with a large hand too. It's it's not going to have any issues with that. All right, when I was cleaning, when I was doing my spring cleaning and moving and everything else, um, I found another Elk Ridge knife that I'm going to throw in here with it. And uh, you may have seen this one once before. This is like a giant. I mean. It's really, it has a flipper tab on here, but good luck using that thing. It feels like it's assisted opening, but it needs a lot more assist if you're going to use this flipper. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Finally. Um, partially serrated. Got this big guard on it and everything. What's this guy called? He's called the ERA930. And, uh, I haven't used this one because it was lost, but it really goes fairly well with this guy. So it's a liner lock. It locks up well enough. No play. Um, fairly substantial knife. So we're going to throw that one in. All right, because I found the Barlow girl and she was in hiding. I'm going to let go this one right here, the one that we had in prison, so she couldn't escape. I'm going to send that one in with it. All right. Then, Stacy Bolster's blades um, send in a lot of stuff for the channel, and this is one of them. And this is the... Uh, Rough Rider Highland Pocket Cleaver. I don't have a pocket cleaver. This is a really great uh, knife and everything. It's just, I figured, rather than holding on and keeping this to myself, someone else could use, you know, use it. And uh, appreciate it a lot more. So again, thank you, Stacy, for that contribution. There's, there's more. She sent a lot of stuff in. And, uh, just like with uh, Byron, he sent a lot of stuff in. So whenever I add stuff into the, you know, giveaways, I'm going to mention, you know, who sent it in and everything. <laughs> All right. Speaking of uh, Byron, I'm going to throw in this petrified fish that Byron did. It's a really nice little flipper here in D2. And that's the petrified fish. I don't know if it's got a number on it anywhere. I don't see one. 818. Let's call it the 818. But yeah, nice contour hand. This thing just flies out of there and just... A little bit of a shake and it drops shut. So thank you, Byron, for that contribution. That's going to go towards the uh, another knife that's being sent out. All right, now when I went to um, Dollar Tree, I found more peppies. Um, now you don't have to call him Peppy, and he's going to have to earn all his uh, other stuff, you know, to be a real Peppy if you want him to be a Peppy. 
He's going to have to get his own mask and his own stuff. But when I found these, on wow, because I've been waiting for a long time. Ever since I got Peppy, I've been looking for these type of dinosaurs. And uh, I hadn't found any, but they had some in there. And so I scooped up more than one. So we'll have him in the giveaway. Of course, you're going to have a cutting mat, which is also good for putting out cat food for cats. Then when they make a mess, a little mini composition notebook. Um, this was from Byron also. The tool along sloth, multi-tool we're going to include in there. Um, a credit card, kind of like knife. Somehow my sheath wound up in there. It doesn't belong in there. That was my sheath for my a uh, spike, of course, an American flag, um, a P-38 and a P-51, a couple of pencils, and P-38, P-51, get those in there, don't, don't fall, pencils, pencil sharpeners, uh, the eyeball, some candy, and some stickers. I'm going to throw in uh, Byron's splitting slices and uh, some other stickers in there. So, all we got to do is come up with a magic word. Ooh, I know what it is because it, it, it's, it's been something that's affected my life quite a bit recently. Lightning. <laughs> All you got to do is put the word lightning in there in the uh, comments. And I'll consider you as, as an entry. Of course, this is because it's got knives and stuff involved. It's only for, you know, lower 48 United States. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you one week. Got to be like, you know, the normal stuff. 18 years old or older. Um, one entry, and yeah, that I mean, that's it. Now, I realize this, it's taken me a while, you know, to get this one put together and everything, and it's just because things have been happening around here. I had to move, my sister got me a, a TV, and so I had to move that big beast back into the bedroom and man my heart rate got up to 131 wrestling around with that sucker um fortunately i i took a rest and it came back down i didn't have any chest pains or anything like that but still uh it was an effort <laughs> wrestling you know 200 pound tv wrestling that thing off at stand and coming back up Whew. but anyways yeah there you go that's that's the giveaway for um, the April giveaway, uh, I haven't acquired any knives yet for the May giveaway, but hey, I'm always seems like a month behind anyway. Um, so there you go. Good luck to everyone that wants to enter and, uh, I'll be doing some more content. I've just been, like I said, dealing with, uh, the effects of the lightning strike. Um... I was going to repair the TV, and I wound up cracking the lens on it, so I didn't repair it. I just trashed it, saved the components, basically. So, yeah, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.